This one's going to be on the evidence to show that religion is a conservative social force. So I'm going to begin the episode by explaining what does that term mean. To finish off this topic area though, you need to watch the video which is evidence religion is a force for social change and Max Weber's view on religion. I'll put the links in the description below, so stick around and we're going to explain what this tricky question means. Evaluate the view religion is a conservative social force. Now, if something is conservative, it means that it supports, maintains tradition, traditional ways of doing things, the way things have been done in the past. So that might be traditional ideas, beliefs, roles, institutions etc. A lot of sociologists argue religion is a conservative force. It maintains things as they have always been done in a traditional way. So it keeps society from progressing and moving forward. So that's what the question is asking you. If it says is religion, evaluate the view, religion is a conservative social force. It's saying does it keep people, society from moving on? Does it keep them in traditional roles? Another way of thinking about it is that religion conserves things as they are. So it may not necessarily be traditional ways of doing things, but it keeps society from changing. It prevents any sort of radical alternative ways of life being considered. So that's what we mean. If we're talking about evaluating the view religion is a conservative social force, we're saying does it keep society the way it has been you know, following traditional roles, ideas, etc. And does it prevent social change? Now, I've already covered three videos on a Marxist, feminist and functionist view of religion. So you need to go back and look at those. But all three of those theories argue that religion is a conservative social force. The first theory we're going to think about is functionists. Functionists argue religion is a conservative social force because religion maintains order and stability. It prevents change in society. And it does this by blocking individuals from being, blocking people from being too individualistic, too selfish. It promotes social solidarity, that shared sense of identity. And it also promotes a shared moral conscience, a shared ideas about what's right and wrong. By preventing people from being too individualistic and selfish, it prevents social change. People do things as they have always been done. They do things in a traditional way. From a Marxist perspective, capitalism is kept in place by religion. Religion serves an ideological function where it teaches ideas and values which promote capitalism and they prevent the workers from seeing the inequality of capitalism and it prevents them from realising they're oppressed. So it legitimises, it justifies capitalism. So from a Marxist perspective, religion is a conservative social force, or certainly some Marxists think that, and it blocks society from changing, it blocks a revolution from happening, it conserves the capitalist system, it keeps it in place. And finally, from a feminist point of view, religion maintains those traditional gender roles, traditional patriarchal attitudes about family life, about women's roles in society. So again, go back to the video on feminism, but some brief examples will be women's roles are often the mother role, Mary, mother of, Mary, mother of God, Mary, mother of Jesus. The roles women fulfill are traditional gender roles. And what that does is reinforce women's traditional gender roles in society. So it prevents social change again. Okay, what are some of the examples you could use to highlight your points and some evidence? So one recent example from the UK, in 2014, the government legalised same-sex marriages. The church opposed this, so the church said they, they obviously didn't want to conduct any of the ceremonies, but they also opposed marriage changing. They argued that marriage, from their viewpoint, was between two people of opposite sex. There's a few more videos in this series which we're looking at the ways in which religion does cause social change. Some of the links are below. Thanks for watching.